Next girlfriend. Judy Foster. Jane Foster. Uh, we're gonna try something slightly different today, and that is... We're gonna try and not talk so much. Now it seems impossible. It's an impossible task. Some might say I'm speaking nonsense because I speak so much of that every single day. But I do feel that I do talk too much. And the problem is I could talk about this stuff for 33 hours of the day. That's an issue. So I'm gonna try and cut it back a bit, try and structure the videos with a bit more, well, structure. <laughs> and because of that, I might just talk a bit less. Plus, you know, my voice is going again, so have to protect it. Hey, no ring on the comic here. Right now, we're just gonna be reacting to this taser for Thor, Love and Thunder. It's coming out in less than a month's time, which is absolute insanity. But at this point, I don't think they've given too much of the story away with the teasers. But at the same time, I do feel like I've kind of plotted out the way the story's gonna go which is never a good thing, but I don't think they've done that for most people. So I'm interested to see exactly what they do with this movie. Let's get to it. Let's go. There's a maniac who seeks to end us all. We must do well. something. I'm putting together oh, the greatest team yeah. ever. Oh, he's my best friend. Yes. Valkyrie. We get to fight again. <laughs> the Guardians. Give me those. And Jane, the old ex-girlfriend. Judy Foster. Jane Foster. Ah! <laughs> Jody Foster. You are not like the other gods of kill. <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder. Pretty PG 13. Tickets on sale now. I don't know if I've just thought of something or if something just sprung into my head or if it just got placed there by Marvel themselves, but there were a couple of things in that trailer. Number one, Jodie Foster. A, great actress. Bit of a nut, but great actress. Two, maybe when Gore's saying, you're not like the other gods I've killed, maybe he's not talking to Thor. Maybe he's talking to Jane. That would make sense, because he's like, wait, you're not normal. You have god powers. You clearly have the Odin force around you to some degree, but there's something not quite right about you, which is actually exactly correct. Also, that line that Thor said, he's coming for us all basically, I thought for a second, what the hell is he on about? He's only after the gods, but then I realized, oh wait, the Asgardians are essentially gods. So he is, Gore is after all of them, which is also a very, very valid point. And again, the black and white style of shooting when Gore's fighting Thor is really unique. And I think it's a purposeful decision where Gore is taking life and light out of the world. But then when Stormbreaker and the Necro Sword come together, it sort of creates this negative effect where everything's blue and purple as opposed to black and white. So visually, it's very, very distinct. And it does fit with the with the feeling of Love and Thunder. For some reason, I feel like I'm getting that tone off of the shots. I don't know if it's going to be super heavy in the comedy aspect. I know it's Thor and it's got the Guardian, so you would think so. But I think there are going to be a lot more heavy tones in this film than I previously thought. 30 seconds. Not much. But I do think they gave away more than what most people are going to look into with this teaser. So, they did it again. What have they done? They've made another hit. Now, do I think it will make more than Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? Yes, I do, because I think this will be a better film than Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. That film looks like it hasn't had any legs. It's not even gonna hit a billion dollars. And I said, if it's good, it will make 1.4 billion. If it's bad, it will struggle to crack a billion. But even I thought, nah, nah, it's gonna make 1 billion at least. I don't know if Marvel is going to see 950, 980 million dollars as a success considering Doctor Strange is one of their probably three or four most important characters going forward in the MCU now. I'm seeing a billion dollars in its future because I think most people are going to enjoy this movie. It's got the Guardians, it's got Thor, it's got Korg, it's got Zeus, Russell Crowe. What more do you really want? Probably Loki. That's what most people probably say, I want that. But I'm feeling that there's not going to be a feeling of Loki in this movie. Anyway, guys, if you had enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, Thor himself gonna come after you. You don't want that. No, you really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been no original the comic. You've been ground. We'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. 
Been doing it every day for over 1,000 days now and we ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe, pop back again tomorrow for some more quality. Shitty content, so hashtag never not here, just how it goes, also bring the pakwas, pakwas means nonsense, and Punjabi. We also bring that, bring a lot, bring a little, do a lot, do a little, but we do indeed bring the quality. Shitty content on a daily basis, so see you tomorrow morning, same, slightly different, but essentially the very same. Once more, see you then. Skadoosh. <laughs>